Have you ever tried being massaged by small and beautiful fish? Or have you ever seen with your own eyes an enormous species of fish that weighs as many as 40 kilograms? A unique species of fish such as hồng vị mỏ vịt, or the red-tailed catfish, Jacob, or tiger catfish, Jashop, or Chilean's golden carp. Along with more than 15 rare species of fish, let's go to fish traps on the whole river. From Cô Bắc Công Sơn Ferry, drifting on the Hau River by boats, it's easy to find out the fish rafts of Li Vang Bong, also called Bai Bong. There are more than 30 cages that raise over 30 different species of fish, of which there are typical species of Amazon fish, those that are rare and precious left on rivers. Hello, Mr. Bay. Let me introduce you. This is my friend, Quang Duy. Previously, I had a chance to come to Kong Sơn Tourist Zone, but I couldn't stop by your fish wrap because I was busy. Today, I introduce you to my friend, Quang Duy. He likes fish very much. Hello, Quang Duy. Now, let's have a look at the fish wraps with me. How many species of fish are there on the fish raft? Knife fish is the main species of fish that I'm raising here. Apart from knife fish, I also raise some other rare and precious species of fish in the Mekong River. This is one of the rare and precious species of fish of the Mekong River. This is mangro or marrow fish, one species of dory. Why does it have this name? Native people have named it like that. It's a species of dory. It has different names in different regions. It is one of the most distinguished species of hunter fish on rivers. It shoots prey at a distance and then eats the prey when the prey drops down on the water surface. This feature brings it another name, archer fish. When it's still small, it swims in pairs on rivers. When one fish of the pair is caught out from the river and released there, the other fish will find it a few months later when the other fish is released down here and meet each other. They are very happy. Many visitors tell about this species of fish when they are reminded of Baibong fish raft. That's right. It can fly up like this. Is a trained and special species of fish. Is there any special way of raising this species of fish? Nothing special. The only thing is that we cannot raise it in thick density. It tastes very delicious. No other species of freshwater fish is more delicious than this. Now, please go out here to see a monster fish on the Mekong River. The black fish there is a giant barb. Some giant barbs caught here weigh as many as several hundred kilograms. It is called a monster because it's too big. However, it's a species of vegetarian fish. Its food is just water, plants, mosses and mud. Sometimes people can catch giant barbs that weigh as many as 300, 400 and 500 kilograms. No one knows how many kilograms the heaviest giant barb weighs. Aside from this species of fish, there is another unique fish there. Its back is like a flag, so it is called gecko or flagfish. Every fish of this species can weigh 3 and 4 kilograms. Can you count how many giant fish there are on your fish raft? I have several tons of giant barbs. I put here just some so that visitors can have a look at them. They can be injured or die if there are too many on one raft. 
The reddish fish here is the red-tailed catfish. They are also seen on the Mekong River, but they come from the Amazon River. I've heard that you have a species of fish that is called chuk chuk, or the next catfish. Is that right? Can you show it to us? I raised that species of fish on another raft. We must use rackets to pick them out. Go with me. This is naked catfish. It is one of the species that I spent 10 years studying how to successfully raise it. I try to study to preserve it so that people can see and taste it. If not, it can disappear and become extinct afterward. In which case did you have it? I bought two or three naked catfish each time from people who caught them by nets until I got about half a kilogram of them. Then I let them breed. At first I failed to let them breed. There are no naked catfish left on rivers now. You must go as far as Ang Zhang province to be able to find them. Just a few of them. Not many naked catfish remain now. You have a very good idea. By raising rare species of fish for reservation, you can open a chance for visitors to have a look at them and develop the local tourism at the same time. I like it very much. This is the first time that I've seen it. Previously, I have seen them on the internet or on television. Now I see them with my own eyes. They are very beautiful. There are knife fish that are too big, carps among many others. I know just koi as knife fish. Other species are very strange and I haven't seen them. The most interesting species is the archer fish. It's very interesting. Fishing methods used today kill fish. Any species of fish that are at risk of extinction should be preserved, if possible, for tomorrow's generations. Have you been tired after having a walk around? It's really interesting. We can now rare and strange species of fish here. Some of them are right-tailed catfish, naked catfish, tiger catfish, among others. Yui, is there Mr. Thien? That's right. Where are you going? Hello, Mr. Thien. We have had a look at fish around here. That's fine, we can meet you here. <laughs> it's nice to meet you here. At which chance do you visit Gom Sơn Tourist Zone? The purpose of my visit is to find a place to watch the beginning of the flooding season in the Mekong River. Why do you have to watch the river at the beginning of the flooding season? This is an interesting thing. We are sitting here in the middle of Hao River. The water is pouring into Hao River. July is the time that the water level is rising, marking the start of the flooding season. The abundance of water brings rich layers to the alluvial sediment from Mekong River and enriches the Hao River with precious silt and an abundant source of specialities that we enjoy here. We are sitting on Gom Sơn, an islet that is fortified by silt. Gom Sơn is also an islet that is fortified by silt. I have a question that how Gom Sơn is formed. If we travel from here to Ninh Kiều by boat, we will clearly see that at this river section, the river is swelling, whereas it is narrow downward. As a result, the water flows slowly at this river section. So silt carried by water has been dropped down here. Many, many years later, silt formed an islet right in the middle of the river. Mm, right now, I know why Gom Sơn Islet has many sweet and delicious fruits and much local produce. It's interesting, we, after meeting Mr. Ting, we can broaden our knowledge. 